Okay, and with that, I should be live. All right. Live card opening, a little different from last time. But hopefully good. Just send out a tweet real quick and we'll get this thing rolling. Gonna be opening a whole box. It's gonna be great. You see this thing? Look at this. It's beautiful. It's a good looking box. Like, less than five minutes. We're gonna tear into this. We're gonna see what's inside. See what kind of rares we get. Plenty of cards. So many cards. Alright. Sent. Great. Not too many places. Get some friends going. Okay, we should be all good to go. And I got the cards, I got the Digimail, I got my Digimon. Oh, we got Agumon's asleep. Poor little guy's covered in poop. Gonna have to stay that way though. How do I autofocus? Is there a button for that? Using a new camera setup thingy. Not the most intuitive, I will say. Yeah, there we go. Okay, hit that button, autofocus. Got it. Yes, it's not very automatic if I button that. Either way, Hagumon is tired, and I'm not putting him to bed because he needs to get a few care mistakes. We're going for Tyrannomon on this little guy. Look how brody this is. We'll see more of this later in the week in a new video. Pull on Old Force. Alright, I'll do that real quick. I've got to make sure Kakumon's okay. Alright, cool. We're good there. So, here we go. We got a box. Courtesy of Japan you want in their beautiful little Digimail. We got a new box here. This is the ultimate power. This is booster number two for the Digimon card game. And while we still have no word of an English release whatsoever, I am still getting plenty of Japanese cards. I actually managed to collect the entirety of booster one new evolution, except for the parallel cards, because that would be a very expensive task to go down and get all of those. So we're not we're not doing that. But I do want to try to at least get one of each card from these sets. We'll see what we get out of this. I've got another box on the way, but I don't know when that'll be here because I ordered it pretty late. So we're going to tear into this one in the meantime and see what we can get. So I've got some meaty scissors right here that we're going to be using to open everything up. All right. And we got tape on all sides. Yeah, tape on all sides. Good thing I brought scissors, otherwise I'd be here all night. Okay, open it up for the nice little store display thing. Look at that, beautiful. Not gonna even mess with that, but whatever. All right, so up front we have the box topper, which apparently is normal, I learned last time. I didn't realize box toppers were a thing because I'm not a big card game person, I guess. Either way, this will have a parallel art of one of these five tamers on it. We're hoping for Joe. I don't know if we'll get him or not, but that's that's going to be for later. We're going to leave you there. And otherwise, we have these beautiful booster packs. 24 of them to be precise. Bye, box. And there they all go. So in here, we are going to find a crap load of commons. Each of these packs has four commons in it. Each one has one uncommon. Each one will have either a rare, super rare, or secret rare or parallel art um and we are hoping that we get the I, actually i don't i was gonna say i hope to get the ones that we want but i don't really even care about these these are uh, not my digimon normally this is very much a heavy protagonist and antagonist series so i'm uh i'm good with whatever Lurp, of course wants old force so we'll go for that for him um 
Dragon says the Beelzebub card, Beelzebub card looks so good. That's where he's just like lounging, letting his uh, everything kind of hang out, isn't it? So we'll see. We'll see if we get him. That's a secret rare. So I didn't get any secret rares last time. I got parallel. What did I? I got the Nail Crusher parallel, and I got another. I got another box. So I would have gotten another parallel. What was it? Oh no no no! I got the seek. I did get secret rare. I got Beedramon. So I got Nail Crusher and Beedramon were my two super special secret awesome cards last time. We'll see what we get this time. So we'll start in all these to start off with. Let me put them over there. I want them over here. And Agumon, you can go away because you're already asleep. Yukakumon has to stay out though. So we're going to start opening these up and seeing what's inside. So here we go. Pack number one. Alright, we have. Alright, up front we have Gilmon, voiced by Steve Bloom. We have. Oh, who is this? This is a level 5, so that would be freaking Lavorvamon. No, Lavorvamon. It goes Volvamon, Lavorvamon, Lava Garidamon, Volcanic Dramon. Okay, so this is Lava Garidamon. Alright, I can remember. I can remember my ABCs. We got uh, Chimeramon doing a thing. I do not know what a Chimeramon's attack name is, so whatever. And we have Tyrannomon. That's all our commons. Our uncommon is Megadramon. Good choice. I like him a lot. Why are these all going in the same pile? Green. Oipel. Red. Red. Gotta make that easier on myself later. Megadramon is a black. And then for our rare, we have Shy or Rise Greymon. Bandai's favorite little guy who's being used all over the place. And we have, of course, our memory gauge, which I have like 9 million of. Not anymore. I actually think I finally threw those away. <laughs> you get so many memory gauges opening up these packs. There we go. Is that a uh, Mega Dramon is not in good light right there. We'll uh, we'll be kind. We'll well. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Oh well. All right. Um. Also, I didn't focus, so I hope those came out okay. I'll make sure I focus on this one. All right. What we got this time? We got. All right. Starting things off with Garudamon. Let me hit that focus button just in case. There we go. Hopefully that should be better. All right, so we got Garudamon. That's like my uh, third Garudamon, yeah? All right. Name of Piomon. That's like my third Piomon. Numimon. Beautiful. Look at all that poop. He's a uh, metallic, I guess. He has shown off his Metal Empire before, so I guess not a surprise that he's black. We've got a Neko Punch. Not to be confused in the Neko Wave. Ooh, hello. Look at ourselves getting our uncommon. We got Vikemon. Now, I may not like Vikemon compared to other Xenomon evolutions, but I do still technically like Vikemon, so there we go. And, oh, look at that, Flurp, just for you. Just for you. We got ourselves an Old Force Vigramon. Holy crap, that's a super rare right there. He is nice and blue and shiny. Our first super rare of the Majigger. There he is. I'll give you a second to appreciate that in real life. We've been using him. I use him in the card game as does Flurp uh, when we play on Tabletop Simulator as he's kind of got an amazing ability. Uh, but, yeah, there he goes. There goes uh, Old Force. Also, I've noticed I have... They call it this six colors. Ugh, I gotta rearrange all this, rearrange everything. But uh, we're gonna put you in the special pile, though, old force. Go in the special pile. Bikemon, while good, is not gonna go in the special pile. Nope. Up. 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 Yep. Yep. There we go. No, not there we go. I can do this. I'm having to like look at my screen and move all this stuff at the same time, which is not the best for me now this makes it so it's hard to see you we can't make we can't have that so we're gonna put you over there move everything slightly over this is the best part of opening cards is making sure that everything's lined up in a way where it makes sense sleeve it i'll get to sleeve in a hold your horses it's gonna go in my big nice blue binder and it will be there forever it's not gonna come out i don't i don't actually intend to play the game physically with most of the cards i'm drawing my duplicates sure but i want most of them to stay in their book all right Next pack, here we go. What are we getting? Also, tell me if the music's too loud. I tested it, I think it should be fine, but if not, let me know. I don't know what Yamero means. Hey, Flurp, another one for you. All right, we got freaking Pagumon. You cute little guy, covered in bubbles. Zuruman hanging out in the background there. Good stuff. We got Anje Woman. all right. Like my third one of those too. Ooh, hello, Siegemon, I like you. I might be able to actually make a fully aquatic blue deck this time, because, uh, yeah, there weren't enough aquatic Digimon to do that with, but maybe there are now. At least, I could probably make one with nothing but Gomamon, Ikakumon, and Zudamon, to be 100% honest. 
which I think I will. Uh, we got some uh, Gigimon and Jarimon for our uncommon, and then we have Aero Vidramon as our rare. Good, that goes well with our full force Vidramon over here. So beautiful. All right, next. The game gets an English release, would I play it? Absolutely I would. I would, uh, if it was easier to get these packs, it was like, listen, these, uh, the starter decks of this are 500 yen. This box, I, it's like, what is it? 40 bucks for a box, so it's probably like, it's probably about 4,000 yen if you just buy it. I don't know, 4,000 4, to 4,500 yen, I would guess. And at prices like that, I would have no problem buying, like, dozens and dozens of, of cards for this. Just, uh, I don't know, I, I could almost buy a whole case with all that. Um, yeah, if this came out in English, I would absolutely play it. I would totally get enough cards to be able to play it because it's a fun game. I like playing it in Tabletop Simulator, but it's uh, not frugal to buy enough cards to be competitively viable when they're in the Japanese because, you know, you got to ship them. It costs, it costs a fair amount to ship these, so we'll see. I don't know. Will they ever do an English release? No idea, but for now, I got these. There goes Grudemon again. We got a cute little Gomamon. It's like, uh, what is that, our fourth Gomamon? Whatever. I can't have too many Gomamon. They're wonderful. More Neko Punch. Green Agumon for no reason, because why not make Agumon every color? He will be. He'll be every color. We'll get blue Agumon next time, and he'll evolve into Vidramon. That's just how it goes. They evolve into anything. They don't care. Uncommon is Bergamon, and we have Hikari as our rare. Cool. There you go. Hang out with your kitty over there. Green Agumon has great art. It does. I do like his art. It is very cute. It just, like... I just find it funny, because it's like, okay, why is Agumon green? Well, he's sitting in a field of flowers. I mean, alright. I can do that with any Digimon. <laughs> alright, and over here. Well, look at this big old tower. We got Algomon, the perfect form. It, I like that it comes straight out of the uh, reboot, too. It's got, like, artwork basically straight out of that, which is cool. Uh, we got Vorvamon, everyone's favorite. Whoa, look at you. Alright, so that's uh, freaking Volcanic Dramon right there. Very lovely art. I like it. Very nice. Uh, we got Crimson Wing, I believe. Is, no, Grizzly Wing. That's what it is. Right? There's Grizzly Wing somebody else. I don't know. In fact, I think Crimson Wing is his freaking dub name. This is freaking Vamdemon shooting a bunch of bats. I don't know. We got Chrysalamon, or if you're insane, Gurisarimon. Um, sure. And we have, as our rare, uh, Mugen Cannons. Or is that what it is? Is it called Mugen Cannons, or is it called Infinity Cannons? His name means infinity. I don't know. Either way, it's Mugen Dramon shooting some crap out. Good for you. And our next pack. Green Agumon is a nod to him devolving to Tyrannomon. But how does that make sense? Why Why is there a green Tyrannomon? There doesn't need to be a green Tyrannomon. Nor metal, nor rust, even though it's all in here, just to appease Taiga, who I still don't know who that is. But whatever. I didn't make this game. It's right, but why is he green? <laughs> um, Dragon, I can't wait for the point when we can play a deck of only Agumons. No, we're at that point. <laughs> I guess it's not only Agumons. You can do Agumons and Greymons, basically, and like go up that way. But yeah, we, we got plenty of Agumons to go around. Here's another one right here. It's Toy Agumon, who is decidedly better than regular Agumon. I rather like Toy Agumon. He's very cute. Very made of Legos. A wonderful addition. Another Wergarurumon. That's all that needs to be said about that. Metal Greymon, but not blue, so who cares? Betamon, however, that's a good one right there. I like me some Betamon. Look how angry he is, though. I do I do think he shouldn't be so angry. He should be happy. Betamon should always be happy, but yeah. And then we've got our Inframon doing his Spider Shooter, or whatever it's called. Death can I don't know, it's something to do with death. And then we got Joe. Hey, Joe, what's up? Do you think that's a smart watch he's wearing, or is it just a normal watch? Because I guess it would make sense for it to be a smart watch. But who knows? Either way, there he is. So that's a... Uh, well, you hang out there down with Hikari. You haven't met Hikari yet in the show. In fact, you just showed up on the show and you were there. You were definitely there. <laughs> All right. Why is this Betamon so poopy? I don't know, because he's not happy enough. The best Betamon was in the freaking Digital Monster card game. The one where he's like a weird cartoon guy. There were a few cards. It's like an Ultimate Battle Deck 2 or 3 or something like that. I don't know. But they're beautiful. I love that one. There's another Numemon. We have Vikemon. I have no idea what Vikemon's attack name is. Like, I don't ever remember even thinking about it. 
Um, Greymon, the Metal Empire version. We have... Alright, alright, now we got a complete set of a freaking Vorbo. This is La Vorbomon, so we got all four of them. Nice. We got Graumon. We got... Ooh, my, look at you. We got Millennium Mon, baby. That's a good one right there. That's a super rare. That is a level 7 card. So this is the uh, kind of opposition to Omega Mon. Omega Mon's the other level 7 right now. So Millennium Mon is this set's level 7. So you can evolve from either a black or a purple. Um, or you can just go crazy and drop them for 15. Which I have seen someone drop a, drop a level 7 for 15 before. It was a fun game. Uh, but there we go. That's a... Uh, it's very beautiful, very lovely, very lovely. What's that in the foreground? Yeah, you can see Omega Mon in the foreground there, hanging out with. Is that Duftmon? I think that's Duftmon. I don't know if I. Uh, can I focus this to where you'd be able to see that? Kinda. I don't know. Look it up on DigimonCard.dev. Tell me if that's Duftmon, because it looks like Duftmon. The Jessmon. I don't know. It looks, the dude looks like he has wings and blonde hair, which I normally associate with Duftmon. Oh no, you're right. But on the right though, that's Jessmon. That's not Omega Mon. You're right. You are definitely right. Whatever. From the back, all Royal Knights look the same. They all have capes. It's just Mon and Duff Mon. Okay, yes, yes. Thank you for confirming. Arctic Blizzard! Is that the ink dub or the not dub? I don't know. Alright, so you will go under Old Force. I do like Old Force more than I like Millennium Mon. There you go. And... Up next, we have... Oops, I didn't cut that one properly. Yep. How dare you. Not dub. Thank you. Thank you for using the Japanese names. I recognize those better. Alright, we got Weezarmon. He is just lounging, having a good time. Getting ready to die again in the reboot. Which, I wouldn't have said that, but now that we know... Oh gosh, are these spoilers? Close your ears if these are spoilers. But now we know, like, Ogremon and Devimon are back in the freaking reboot. It's like, okay, they're just gonna do everything again, I guess. Whatever. We got Andromon. He was just doing some computing and you interrupted him. So he's all like, oh, what are you doing up there? And then we have... Oh, we got the Spiral whatever. Spiral Sword. That's what it is. Good, good. Ah, Mega Seedramon. Perfect. That leaves us just uh, Metal Seedramon. We'll have a complete set of Seedramon line. We got Pinokimon doing his uh, bullet hammer. I don't know what it's called. I mean, that's... Hey, and there's actual Pinokimon. Excellent. With his weird puppetness. Beautiful. Shut up, flirt. <laughs> I appreciate how you're letting me look at the whole force for longer. Yeah. Alright, and in here we have... Alright, we got Impmon. He's a cute little guy, I guess. People like him. We got Ogomon Child. We got Jiraimon, shooting cherries. Gabumon, slightly looking behind. We're gonna have so many combos. Hey, another Zudomon, excellent. Not another for this set, but just another in general. This is Zudomon number three, right? Because we got starter, booster one, now booster two. So yeah, that would be our third Zudomon. Excellent, can't ever have enough of him. And we got, for our rare, we got Hoomon, very pretty. Not as cool as our other Hoomon, I will say, but hey. I like Hoomon just fine enough to have a lesser one too. Okay, next up. Akurumon! Cute little set of gears. I will say, when this guy first appeared in the original Digimon Adventure, um, it really bugged me because I didn't know what he was. And they never told you what he was, so he just kind of appeared. I'm like, what are those gear guys? And it wouldn't be for like a few months later before I discovered that I could look up Digimon Pendulums on the internet that I was like, oh, there's that guy. He's, he's from the Digimon Pendulum. And I guess he's called Hagurumon. No, didn't bother telling you. We got Geo Greymon from Digimon Savers. Masurumon, or Masaru's, not Masurumon. Masaru's partner. We have, oh, did I put, oh, come on, you're not yellow, you're red. Go in the right pile. We got High Andromon doing whatever the crap High Andromon attack is. Another Piomon, Pico Devimon. This is kind of sneaky. I do like this art. This is pretty good Pico Devimon art, I have to say. And we have Shine Greymon doing something. What's this? I don't know what his attack is, but he's doing it. Good job. Okay. Up next. 
we have... Oh, I totally forgot Evil Mon was in this. <laughs> I literally just kind of... I, I don't... I am sure I saw it at some point, but I don't think my mind ever registered it. So there we go. There, there's Evil Mon. He's got... What is that? There's a Pico Devimon hanging out in the background of him. Look at him. He's just happy to be here. He, like, never gets used in anything. So, welcome back. Eelmon again. Hey, Capramon. With some little Choromon in the back there. Which, this week, I learned that Choromon's dub name is Metal Coromon. I actually did not know that, but Paige pointed it out to me so I could fix it on my website. There you go. There goes this cute little, little kitty. It, Capramon is weird, though. Like, why is it a cat for Metal Empire? I don't know. Whatever. That's not important. All right. We got a Garurumon. Cool. Um, we got... Nose Blaster, Mega Sneeze, I forget his... Whoa! Oh boy, <laughs> that's a beautiful card right there. <laughs> that's our, uh, okay, so that's our parallel. That means we're not getting a secret rare, but we do get this beautiful um, parallel art right here. So yeah, that's uh, that's gorgeous. That is some pretty looking art right there. That is a beautiful old force. Oh man, that is that is nice. So, oh. Blurp is spazzing out, so it actually hid his comment. <laughs> Show. I got two old forces. Can you believe it? Oh man! All right, so you are gently going right over here on top of old force number one, and there we go. Look at that. Friggin' beautiful. All right, so that's uh, that's my good draw. That's that's it's all downhill from here. We have one, or no, we have two more super rares because they up the ratio, I guess, which is awesome. Still got two more super rares to go. Plenty of rares and uncommons. Let's see what else we get. But yeah, that's that's the high point right there. That's a beautiful card. I love that. I love the whole like just like it, it just looks not non-digital. All these other arts are beautiful. They are gorgeous. They did a great job with them. But like you can tell that they're like, all the shading and effort to make it look 3D. I like the comic book style. That's like one of the things I love most about Digimon is the freaking comic book style. It didn't up the ratio. Well, someone, V1's claiming they upped it. And I did see, I think it was Little Siri, got four supers in one uh, one box. So we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> we'll see what happens with this one. Uh, maybe it's just if you're lucky, you get four. Um, all right, so we have Gardramon shooting a little whistling guy. Vimon, he's blushing. Why are you blushing, Vimon? We have Volcanic Dramon doing a thing. Pumpmon playing at an arcade. We got Algamon and we got Yamato. Oh, is that our rare? Okay, cool. Bye, Yamato. Three supers per. I don't know then. I don't know why Siri got freaking four and one then. I guess she was just really lucky. Or why V1 thinks it's uh, been up. Because, yeah, I didn't hear anything about that either. I was Up until today, I was like, yeah, three supers in a box. Why wouldn't there be? And it sounds like, from your experience, you're getting the same, so... I'm not sure what's going on there. Savers Agumon. It's our first one of him. We got another uh, Lava Garitamon. Chimeramon doing a thing. We've got a Tranamon again. Cute little Nyaramon. And there's another Super Rare. We got War Greymon. As if I did not have plenty of him already. But hey, it's good art. So I'm not complaining. Not bad at all. We will throw you underneath the rest. Gotta leave that beautiful old force up top still. Yeah. This print box. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> yeah, why not indeed? That'd be a good thing to get. Who knows? Maybe I'll have a misprint box then. I don't know. I've got. I do have a lot more in, to open still. We'll see. Weezerman. I'm not I'm not holding any hopes though. <laughs> Bring a room on again. Whoopsie. Dropped Pumpmon there. Alright, we got Bakuman. Cool. I forgot he was here. Because he was in the starter too, but in the starter he was yellow. Now he is poiple. Inframon looks good. Kind of take a minute here to kind of put these guys in line. As best I can at least. There we go. At least I'm going to get five Rosemonds in three boxes like <laughs> Oh man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't be up for that. Okay, Algamon Child again. Domamon again. Algamon. At this point we probably won't be seeing many new commons. But there goes Hyandramon. He's kinda of fatter than I expected him to be. 
Maybe it's just the angle, but he looks kind of fat, like kind of wider than you would expect. His arms are also huge. Huh. I guess I've never really looked hard at Iandramon before. Slurp says it's the angle. I guess so, but his diaper still looks pretty dang big. And then, hey, there he is. Perfect. That's exactly who I wanted to see. We got Metal Seedramon rounding out. Let's see, that gives me... Yeah, I think I got every deep saver in this uh, set, yeah? Heck yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I got all of Gomamon's line. I've got all of Betamon's line, so that should be every deep saver. Sweet. That's what I wanted. Unflattering. Do I have more boxes? I have one more on the way. It's I, I ordered it like last week from Japan, you want, so... I'm sure they haven't received the stock for that order yet. Um, but this one was from like June. I ordered this one back in June, which is why it's already here. All right, Hagurumon, Ikakumon again, Spiral Sword, Vorvomon, Chibimon. How cute. What's that guy, Chico? Yeah, Chicomon. Very cute. And what is that? Disco Elysium? Disco Elysium? Yeah, Disco Elysium. That's what we're calling it. I honestly don't think I'm that far off <laughs> at that title. <laughs> Final Elysium. No, I like Disco Elysium better. We're going to stick with that. <laughs> it is canon now. All right, Greymon. Metal Greymon. All right. Another Pogumon. There you go, Flirt. You'll probably get one in your box, so. Uh, Geo Grey. Hey, it's Devimon. He's all like, ha, 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 everybody loves me. That's true. Whoa, look at you. That's a... The pretty art for a rare. Uh, some freaking big old Venom Vandemon. Alright. Very nice looking. Pogamon best pull. Shield of the... I don't know what it's called in dub. I know his, his freaking spear is like... Graham, right? Alright, we got Impmon. We got Seedramon. We got Draymon's attack. We got... Lavorvamon, alright, Algomon. I don't think we've seen Algomon perfect yet, so that's nice. And Rust Tyranomon's attack. Cool. Shield of the Just. How do you people remember this crap? Oh, right, because they freaking translated all the cards into English, so. I guess you would know. Alright, where Garurumon? Another Volcanic Dramon, Betamon, Mega Seedramon. Oh, Fonimon's attack. What's that one, huh? I'm getting quizzed. And there we go. And War Graumon, which means we're just missing Dukemon to finish up that line. No, it's because I watched the anime. And you remember all their attacks? I remember some of them. Some of them are easy to remember. You got Chiku Chiku Bang Bang. I remember that one. And Hammer Spark. I remember a few. All right, Arctic Thunder. Um, Evilmon, Weezermon, Garumon. That's a lot of purple. Hey, Vamdemon. Man, got all that fire or something behind him. He's got a little little bat. Very nice. And hey, it's Taiga, the guy that confused me by loving Tyranomon, but also by being green. Hello. And next pack. We are down to the final four here. Hyandramon's attack, Agumon, Anjewomon, Toy Agumon, Plotmon. I haven't seen you yet. Where's my black? There we go. Hello, Plotmon. Um, yeah, that's fine. But wait, hold on. There's flowers in this artwork. Why aren't you green? Just saying. And Sumamon. But no, this still bugs me that there's no... Um... Oh, what's his face? Wow, I'm blanking on the name. Sumamon evolves from Kuramon. There we go. Yeah, there's no Kuraman for some reason on his art. Never forget that Magnumon's attack is called Extreme Jihad. Is it, it sure did. I remember the first time that um I watched that and he said that. I'm like, what did you just say? What was it? Hold on, what was that? <laughs> it's uh, not the kind of thing you expect to hear. Uh, but, you know, that was a pre-9-11 world, so they uh, wouldn't have cared as much about that. And Japan also just doesn't care about world politics at all, so like they've never changed the name either. It's like, it, they don't really care about changing things to suit times, I guess. At least not that I've seen. Alright, Pumpmon, Andromon, 
Agumon and a bunch of flowers. War Graumon's attack. Hey, Merimon! That'll go great with my Millennium Mon. Second to last pack. It aged poorly, but it still sounds cool in Japanese. I mean, it does. Most Digimon attack names do. They just freak them. Alright, another Yukakumon. That's the third one. We've almost got a playable set. Got Lava Garitamon again. I think it's also the third. Yeah, we're getting heavy into the commons. Karamon! Haven't seen you yet. Welcome. Oh, there's the Kuramon. They were hiding there all the time. I still don't like that it breaks tradition. And this is the final pack. What the crap could it be? Looks like we aren't getting that fourth super rare like Siri did, so that sucks. Oh well. I got some good ones already. Gardramon. Gabumon. Capramon. Bimon. And hey, there's some Bidramon. Excellent. That means I have, yeah, a complete V-line too. And our final rare is Taichi, the black Taichi. Excellent. Good stuff. And that means, we, yeah, so we got three tamers. No, four tamers. So we got a good amount of tamers, but we got one more tamer in here. And we didn't see Sora pop up yet, so I hope it's Sora. I don't have I don't have any Sora cards, right? Yeah, because Sora is new for this. So let's uh, let's see here. And the secret tamer card is Yamato. All right, fine. Uh, I don't even know what he does, but he's there. Wait, is it? It's four cost mat. No, it's purple mat. Yeah, yeah, purple mat. I don't know what he does. All right, there we go. So that's a that's not bad at all. So let's get the commoners out of the way here, and let's just do a quick focus on the good cards. So we had. Our best one, obviously, all four Vidramon with beautiful gold backing, super shiny, just really, really good artwork. I love this style. I wish the parallel arts in this set weren't as good as they are because it makes me want to get them all. Holy crap, they're, they're just, they are good. Probably the best parallel arts. I mean, the parallel arts are generally good. It's just, they're just usually just other art, but this, like very different, very striking. So that's nice. We have all four Vidramon again. In his normal art, still good. Like he's a good card, no matter what way you look at it. He's way good. Our level seven Millennium on. Very nice. Which, funnily enough, since he evolves from level sixes, you can't come straight from Emerimon, but he could come straight from Mugendramon, who I did not get. And then we have War Greymon as our other super rare. So, not bad. Those are our, uh, super hard to find cards right there. Let's uh, just, just and so of course you can't see it because of the lighting situation. So I'll hold it back up there. Uh, I do have another box coming. I'm not going to do a stream for that one. Just the first box is the most fun. I'm going to go put these all into their binder where they will stay forever. And uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty good. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this draw very much. Out of all the Royal Knights I can get, I, I, I don't know. Is Old Force Vigermon my favorite Royal Knight? He's certainly not anywhere close to my favorite Digimon, that's for sure. But I don't like a lot of Royal Knights. <laughs> Sorry, Flurp. Um, but he's blue. So that makes me like him, I guess. Are there other blue? I, I, I guess I like Cranium Mon. Cranium Mon's also pretty good. Um, either way, yeah. So that's uh, that's it. That was a good draw. So hope everyone else is getting good draws. Hope they're, you're getting some good cards out of this. I don't know if they're up for sale right now. I know Japan you want doesn't have any uh, available at the moment. So you might have to look around. Try Hobby Link Japan. Try looking around by. Um, I'm sure you could find a box somewhere, and if not, they do tend to come back up. I know the Booster 1 box, like, was gone for a while and then came back out of nowhere, so um, definitely see if you can get your hands on some of these. I'm going to be working on, um, well, once I get the other box, I'm going to work on building out my collection and trying to get one of each card from this set. So if you get any duplicates, let me know. I might be willing to trade. I guess I wouldn't trade these guys, so I don't know if I had if any, <laughs> I'd have anything you want. So... There we go. Um, anyway, thank you for joining. This was a good time. Um, enjoy your evening, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.